Hey guys, it's Sarah here. Welcome to Allcraft TV. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to crochet a cocoon cardigan. It will be a two-part video. For the first part, it will be the making of the granny square, and the second part of the tutorial is sewing the arms and crocheting the collar and the arms of the cardigan. If you have any questions, comment below, and if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. For this tutorial, I will be using 8 ply 100% acrylic yarn in charcoal. You will need a pair of scissors to cut the yarn. I'll be using a 6.5mm crochet hook, although you can use anything that's larger or smaller depending on how big and fluffy you want your cardigan to be. You'll also need a yarn needle to weave in the ends. You firstly need to create a magic ring and slip stitch to secure. You now need to chain up two, so you yarn over, pull through for one, and yarn over and pull through for two. Now you need to do two double crochets into that magic ring. Yarn over, insert your hook into the magic ring, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through the next two loops. Do this one more time, yarn over, Insert your hook into the magic ring, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through the next two loops. Now chain up one and do three double crochets into that same magic ring. There's your first one, that one's your second double crochet, and this one will be your third. So now you have created two clusters of double crochets. You need to create another two clusters of three double crochets. So you chain up one and now crochet three double crochets into that magic ring just like you were doing before. For your last cluster of three double crochets, you need to chain up one and crochet three double crochets into that magic ring. Chain up one, and as you can see there are four clusters of th three double crochets, so now you want to slip stitch into that first chain you crocheted. Pull the circle tight. Chain three, now do two double crochets into that last chain space you did. So just where you joined with the slip stitch you want to do two double crochets. So now you need to chain up two 
and do three double crochets into the next chain space. Chain up one and do another three double crochets into that same chain space. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Do that another two times to create your corner. Now chain two, one and two, and into the next corner or the next chain space, you want to put three double crochets, one chain, and then another three double crochets, just like you did beforehand. So one more double crochet to finish off that corner. So now you finish off that corner, you have one corner and half a corner left. You need to chain up two. And then go into the next chain space. Crochet three double crochets, do a chain of one and then do another three double crochets. And finally chain up two and as you can see you've got three whole corners and half a corner. You need to finish that half corner. So chain up two and do three double crochets into that half a corner. So just chain one and slip stitch into that chain of three to join There you go, there is your square. This is the pattern that you'll continue to do until you reach the size that you need. I'll show you one more row. So you need to chain up three and into that corner space that you just slip stitch to join, you need to do two double crochets. Chain two, one, two, three. Now into this next space here, you need to do three double crochets. So the space in between the two corners. Chain up two. And just like you're doing before, this is your corner. So do three double crochets, then one chain, and then three double crochets. So now chain up two and go into that next space between the two corners and do three double crochets. Now chain up two, go into the next corner, do your three double crochets, one chain and then three double crochets. This is the pattern that you will work through until you reach the size that you need. So just remember that in between each one of the corners there is one chain and along the edges there is a chain of two.
Now to finish the row, just finish that half corner. So do three double crochets and a chain and then slip stitch back into that first chain of three. So I'm not going to show crocheting the whole entire square because that will take a long time. So instead I will just show you this picture of what it should look like. So I have done a total of 30 rows. As you can see it's quite big. When I actually put it all together it goes just past my knees. Now that you have got the amount of rows that you need you now want to create your border. So you want to chain up three, do one double crochet into that same corner space and now in between each of those loops from the double crochets you want to do one double crochet. So you need to insert your hook into those loops after yarning over so yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through for a double crochet and just keep doing that in those two loops so now for the chain space you want to do one double crochet and then another double crochet and then back to double crocheting on top of the other ones Yarn over, go through those two loops, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. That is the pattern that you should have. It should just be one continuous row of double crochets without any chains, except for in the corner. So I'll just keep going with that pattern and show you a few more. And then I'll meet you back up at the first corner that you need to crochet into. So this here is what it should be looking like. You should have your last row of double crochets with those chain spaces and then the row that you are doing now should have no chain spaces except for in the corner and it should be a continuous row of double crochets. So I'm just finishing my last few before I get to the corner. So now that I'm at my corner, you need to do a double crochet on top of those double crochets. So you should have three double crochets. Now you need to chain up one. So now you need to miss that chain space and go into the loops of your next double crochet and this will create your corner. So as you can see you're starting to form a corner so just continue along with that pattern just do double crochets along the edges and then when you get to the corner do three double crochets and one chain and then three double crochets. 
I'll do a few more just to show you. So you can meet me back up when you are nearly finished and I will join the rest of the row together. So now I'm just finishing my last corner. I need to do those double crochets into those loops. chain up one and slip stitch into the first three chains you did and there you go that is your corner you don't need to cut off your yarn just yet and don't tie it off you can leave it there because in the next video I'll be showing you how to create your arms thank you all for watching I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial I will link part two in the description below and if you have liked this video, don't forget to subscribe for more.